Well, greetings, everybody, and shalom to all of you who are listening. I thank you for coming back. I just made a video that will be uploaded after this one, I believe, that's on uh, a way that you can hopefully maintain your health a whole lot better in these days, especially right now, you know, when we have these diseases and these epidemics and, and such coming on us, but uh, what I failed to mention is that sometimes these illnesses that are hitting us right now are quite beneficial because what they do is they build our immune system up to keep us from obtaining these in the future. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> I got this, uh, and I very seldom do. I very seldom have indigestion, but today is a very peculiar day. <laughs> it's a... Uh, mind-boggling and I'm sure that if you believe in the truth and you're having any of these problems you know that it should be because the feast is coming up and you plan on keeping them. Anyway what it, where I had left off on the last video part B was in 1 Corinthians 7 12 but to the rest I not Yahshua say if any brother has a wife that does not believe, okay, and she's willing to live with him, let him not divorce her. So let's pick up from here. But as I said earlier, and I do pray that uh, I have prayed before that the uh, video here has the Holy Spirit upon it. And of course, we are going to blow away the demons. So, uh, you might, if uh, you need to, to keep anyone from being awakened, uh, <laughs> and this should chase them away. Of course, you should be eating your honey and butter as well. That will really help to keep the demons from affecting you as badly, but we all must be persecuted, okay? When we come out, we have to be persecuted, but this will chase away the demons out of your house while you're listening to this video. Anyway, if things get out of hand, if there are any of you that are watching uh, that have demons that do come and bother you because of whatever reason, and of course if you start keeping the laws and commandments, it may be reason enough for them to come around, but I'm going to blow this your horn, this your shofar that I got, it's just a bullhorn, and it will chase those demons away. And if it don't, let me know, and uh, if I need to, I'll give you a personal phone call, and we'll rid that place of it, as long as you're not sinning. Just like that adulteress was brought up before the king, you know, and, and uh, she didn't have the man she was committing adultery with brought with her. Otherwise, our king would have said, hey, you know what Moshe said, take him out and stone her ass, you know. <laughs> That's what our king would have said, because he kept the laws. But, because they came testing him in it by bringing only the woman, he sat there writing in the ground like dumbasses, didn't the law say the man and the woman? Probably in, in writing big enough that people could read it because they was literate back there. <laughs> they actually knew how to read. They knew how to write. That's how we have record today even. And he was saying, you dumbasses, don't you know what the law of Moshe says to do? Man and woman? You know, they're looking at this, you know, if that's what he wrote. And I think that's pretty close to what he said, you know. Maybe he didn't say dumbass, but if I was him, I would have wrote, Dumbass, don't you know, you can't even test me in this because you didn't bring the man with her. So hey, you who don't have sin, then you cast the first stone. Doesn't mean that the law was done away with. It means dumbass. <laughs> you know? Why didn't you read the law to bring the man and the woman? And I would have told him right straight out, take them outside the gates and stone them. Just like it says to do. And you know what? Our king's going to do worse than that for a whole lot of people when he returns. He's not coming, you know, to 
to bring peace right away. He's going to do a lot of destroying first. So let's chase these demons away from us with this here. Uh, play it anytime you need. Anytime you got something going on in the house. Demons, you know. This is Alien Eye. Fountain. Hawkins. Right here. I'm blowing this horn. You better leave these people's premises. Leave them alone, you know. Uh, let our king test and try them. Uh, of course, you're going to persecute them. But, you know, for the time being, you got to get out your house. You can't be moving stuff around or, you know, this sort of stuff. After you hear this blow, you can't come back. Not unless they go back eating pork chops or whatever. Then you come back, you're seven times more worse than ever upon them. But as long as they choose to follow our king, you know. And our king, you know, he says right straight out that uh, we don't choose him. He chooses us. But if they know enough, you know enough right now to follow our king, then most likely he's chosen you. And I'll show you in this video. Hopefully we don't have to do another one before I get to the real point to show you this. But anyway... Uh, here we go. Demons, y'all can't stay around anymore. You got to flee. Ready? Now to the married I command, yet not I, but Yahshua. A wife is not to depart from her husband. But, even if she does depart, let her remain unmarried. Now, see, in those days, like I was explaining in the previous video, these commands, these words are to those that actually believe what the laws and the commandments spoke. And most of the people out in the world, they'll pick a scripture here or there. They'll use these scriptures even. And a husband will try to domineer over a wife or a wife over a husband. But we can't domineer people. We've got to be the bestest of friends, okay? That's what a marriage is about. And a bestest of friends is not going to put a tack on your seat. You know, where you sit down and, ah! what the? Did, I didn't do it. It brings all kinds of lies and all kinds of, dis you can't have a bestest friend that is going to cause you harm in any way. Uh, harms are going to come, okay? They're, they're going to hurt, and they're going to smart, but if they weren't done with the intent of it, it, it helps us to grow stronger toward each other, to know each other, to forgive each other, to forgive everyone. And, you know, but like it says here, but even if she does depart, let her remain unmarried, which means she's not going to go out dating and find another man and another man and another man and another man. Okay, because if this woman did so, she found one other man, even while they were married. It was called divorce. If she did one other man then the man and the woman couldn't come back together again. And I know, yes, that's a little bit difficult for some to comprehend. Uh, and that's what I'm hoping 
that this lady that my bride had uh, showed me her site will come to be able to preach to women is what goes on in a woman's body with the man's sperm or the sperm from other men I'm sorry okay hopefully you know and this is why this woman's channel uh, oh man. I'm sorry, Amy. I can't remember the name of your channel. I, I've subscribed to it. I did. Uh, my bride, you know, I don't know if she subscribed or not. She doesn't do subscribing because she doesn't need to be traced back to who she is because you know the devil wants to mess with her a lot more through people but if they don't know she's affiliated with me you know we have to be separate and that's why she's endorsed you so that you can do the job that I was hoping she would and if you want to back out at any time please you know just let me know uh, that will be fine, but for these women, you know, uh, I don't want to answer so many of these questions for the ladies. I don't mind. My wife's giving me permission to you, Amy, that if you ask a question concerning these matters, it's okay that I tell you because uh, I really don't want to say it. You know, I mean, I'd rather you tell the women these things, and men, stay away from her sight, you know, and uh, if you do go there, th then pick it up so that your wife, you can teach your wife, but don't go there for any other purpose, you know, this is craziness when people go and they harass those that bring forth truth or whatever, and I hope this is the last thing that goes on with you, Amy, I mean, I've had people come against me. And I pray that, uh, I mean, it hasn't been going on in, for some time because the ones that do come, the trolls, they already know, you know, that through kindness, they can't defeat me. And I'll come against those that come against you if they do, or you could just delete them from your site, you know, that's okay. You can delete them, but I pray that you won't do that either, girl, you know, it's, uh, Everybody should have something to say. I mean, if they're vulgar or whatever, please, you know, do, you know. But otherwise, I'll, I'll come to your channel. I'll look at the comments the best I can. And if somebody is harassing you, I will do my best as I do on any other channel. But I'm going to pay more attention to you because I'm endorsing your channel. And I know that the ladies that are coming and listening to me and saying, wow, he knows the way to salvation, or they're saying, wow, he's full of crap, but I'm going to prove what he says to see whether or not it's true. Then, you know, they'll be listening to me and to you, I hope. And you'll be able to explain to these ladies the things that pertain to ladies. If you have any questions, please do ask, okay? And I, I'm going to stop the promotion there. Amy, thank you very much for having your channel open and allowing women that are coming to my channel that don't have to, you know, speak of these women issues anymore, you know? I, I would, my bride would have done this, but she's scared to death, you know, to to be teaching something that she might not know everything about and she doesn't want to teach anyway so you know we've got this agreement between the three of us thank you for that and you know let's work together let's draw on the fish you know keep it through the net out on the right side of the boat there and he needed help to draw back in the fish so let's do this. Let's tag team. Let's uh, be fishermen of men and women and child. And let's bring them all in. Uh, let's hope that they're brought in still alive and healthy. 
that they may be brothers and sisters to us. That's what I'm hoping. And this is the first day of the feast. So, hey, if you're keeping the feast, congratulations. And if you're watching this after the feast and you haven't kept one before or this one, please consider to do the next one from this video. Keep it with all your heart, soul, mind, might, everything. 1 Corinthians 7.11 But even if she does depart, who is this? It says, Now to the married I command, yet not I, but Yahshua. A wife is not to depart from her husband. But even if she does depart, if she does depart, let her remain unmarried. Yes, let her remain unmarried. She can't marry another fellow unless it's done by the defilement of the flesh through adultery. Okay, that's the only reason why someone should get divorced. Unless in these days, of course, you know, once again. And I, I hate to say it, man, it sucks so bad. It sucketh so bad, you know, this divorce thing. But... You know, the unbelieving heart, you know, where they go out and they eat pork and come back and think they can just kiss their believing spouse, whether man or woman, and, and everything should be just wonderful with them when they probably begged your stupid ass to stop eating that pork, you know, the catfish, the skunk, the uh, coon, and everything else, you know, quit eating it, the clams, don't eat it. Because they stopped. And if you don't want to stop, man, for the love of that spouse, well, you deserve to be divorced. And it's all right. And don't harm the children. You know, if the believing spouse can get the children, and the courts may not allow it, you know, but if they can, hold on to them. Because, you know, it's always a tempest. These things are a tempest. If you can't work it out, it's, it's going to be horrible. And it... It'll kill part of you, and sometimes you're going to wonder, man, you know, if I, if I lost the feeling for love, if I lost it, you know, is, is my love going cold? Well, you're keeping the laws. <laughs> well, no, your love hasn't grown cold. It's, you're growing defenses. But even if she does depart, let her remain unmarried or be reconciled to her husband. Now, the only way a woman can be reconciled to her husband is if she's never had sexual relations with another man. Otherwise, the man should never become part of that woman again. It's the way it is because it puts confusion into a woman's mind, into her every cell, if she sleeps with another man after she's married to a husband that is of the truth. And if the husband is of the truth and a woman goes out and sleeps with another man, then the man should never consider her again to sleep. He can't sleep with her. If he does, it just adds more confusion. And boy, I'll tell you, you'll realize more than Solomon did what it is for this kind of woman. If you interject your seed, again, you know, it's, it's a battlefield in that woman's brain. And this is things a lot of people don't consider Especially with a woman that's been with man and man and man and man and man and man and man with men well with a man and it's bad confusion. It's a horrible thing that goes on in a woman's mind, whether married or not. And if she's married and she does, you know, it's not what's talking about in these scriptures here. But even if she does depart, she leaves her husband let her remain unmarried or be reconciled to her husband. And a husband is not to divorce his wife. Not unless she commits adultery, okay? But to the rest, to the rest, I, 
not Yahshua, say, If any brother has a wife who does not believe, and she is willing to live with them, let him not divorce her. Again here, this does not believe is not, and it is part of the unbelieving, because she does not believe, but she's not so unbelieving, and she's going to go out and eat pork chops and, you know, uh, armadillo or whatever, and come back and try to kiss her husband. It's a wife who doesn't believe. She believes in this kind of scriptural reference that she's keeping the laws and commandments to the letter of the law, not by the love of the law. That's in the light that these scriptures should be, you know, read. But if she's out there committing, you know, adulteries and whoredoms and everything you know this is not what it's speaking of it's speaking of a woman that has some understanding some discretion but yet doesn't believe everything the husband has to say or offer that the king has shown unto him but to the rest I not the Messiah say if any brother has a wife who does not believe and she is willing she's willing she's not a slave or anything and a lot of times it will appear as so just the same as me right here in my house and I don't have anyone here with me but if I had to choose to leave here where would I go <laughs> you know and that's where a lot of people are in these instances. They, they have no place else to go. So sometimes they'll go into pretend land, you know, and uh, pretend certain things, and you have to monitor them, and it sucketh greatly. It's better to have a relationship where they love you, but you have to put forth the effort to give them a reason why to love you at the same time. I don't even know which one I was on there. Uh, and a woman who has a husband who does not believe. Okay, but to the rest, I, not Yahshua, say, if any brother has a wife who does not believe. Okay, she don't believe that our king has laid his life down, shed his blood for us, and lifted his life back up again. The Father gave him that power to do that. It wasn't the Father that did it himself. Uh, he didn't come down to the earth and become the Son. You know, the Father's the Father. The Father can never be the Son. Uh, dang, why people still think these things. I don't know. Where was we again? And a woman who has a husband who does not believe if she is willing to live with her, let her not divorce him. Uh, okay, but to the uh, okay, this is the woman part, not divorce him. Where up here it talks about the man's part, not divorce his wife. What I was looking for again was, but to the rest, I not Yahshua say, if any brother has a wife who does not believe that the king has come. And that we must put our trust in our king. That's what it's saying. Uh, to love the law. Where before it was pray to Father Yahweh. But you can't get to Father Yahweh without going through the Son in these last days. Many people cannot comprehend that. They still pray the Our Father prayer. And our king gave that prayer when he was on this earth. But all things since then was given to our king. And the only way you can get to the Our Father is through the king. So please review some of my older tapes here, my older videos on how to pray. You know, to our father through his righteous son.
But anyway, but to the rest, I, not Yahshua, say, if any brother has a wife who does not believe and she is willing to live with him. Now this is, you know, woman, I'm going to tell you, man, you got to stop eating them damn fried clams. You know, you can't come home eating fried clams and want to kiss me on my mouth or even touch me. You're unclean. And even if you take a shower, you know, before the sun sets, you become clean, know that that crap is still in you and will be in you for a long time until you take an intestinal cleanse or whatever. So don't, so don't do these things. Now, if you both repent at the same time or close to it, you know, you can do very many things while cleansing, it's all right, because you're both of the same cloth anyway. Uh, there are so many questions I don't want to go into right now. I mean, this would mushroom into hours of sermons or uh, Bible lessons or scripture studies or whatever you want to call what I'm doing here. I don't even know what to call them, what I'm doing here. I'm just hoping that you'll prove what I'm saying is right or wrong. If it's wrong, correct me. If it's right, please submit to it. But anyway, if she's willing to live with them, according to the laws and commandments that he's living by, let him not divorce her. And a woman, a woman who has a husband who does not believe, an unbeliever, okay, depending on what source, what what steps or degrees it is. If he is willing to live with her, see, now, for this fella to be willing to live with her, he's got to stop eating the pork, he's got to stop going out after the whores, he's got to stop doing the things that are incorrect. Any spouse, whether it's a male or a female, when somebody comes to understand, this is where the sort of Messiah comes to divide. And you have to be merciful to one another, people, you know. You can't just fight and kick and you can't do this. You've, you've got to be one that takes a strike on the one cheek and then boom on the other and boom and you know, 70 times, 70 times, forgive your brother or sister, your wife, your bestest friend that should be. You know, I mean, you do things with her, she does things with you that no one else ever should. And if they do, it's reason for the divorce, okay? Let her not divorce him. If he's not out there and, and screwing around, if he's not out there eating ham sandwiches and such, you know, on lunch, and then coming home to want to kiss her, and he knows that she don't eat pork or the unclean, you shouldn't do that anyway, because he's just a pig. He's a sausage. That's all it is. He's a walking sausage with ears, arms, legs, and, and, and a stupid-ass tongue. 1 Corinthians seven fourteen. For the unbelieving husband is sanctified by the wife and the unbelieving wife is sanctified by the husband otherwise your children would be unclean yes if you're eating unclean things and touching anything you're unclean and you've made other things unclean. Now, if you're holy touching unclean things, it won't make them holy. <laughs> but if you're unclean touching things, you know, Isaiah 24, it, it tells you about this. But if the unbeliever departs, let him depart. A brother or a sister is not under bondage in such cases. But Yahweh has called us to peace. Okay, so these are simple things. Hopefully this, uh, man, my Chrome is wanting to crash. It always does this. Let me get to a couple other things here quickly, I hope. Boy.
Ay, 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 you know, it's a feast coming up, so this is what takes place. It's a uh, marvelous time of the year. Uh, tests and trials come abundantly, regardless of how it is. But I want you to know, it's a miracle, actually, that you're seeing me in your living room right now. Well, we got this thing uploading, if it'll upload. Uh, our king said that these things you will do in greater. If you make a video, you put it out on YouTube, you've done things that our king has done in greater. Because you're speaking in whoever's house, where you're at. Thousands and thousands, and, or maybe just hundreds or tens of miles, but, you know, sometimes hundreds of thousands of miles away. And they can hear you crystal clear in their house. Remember our king, you know, when the centurion come up and he told him, go. Your son is healed. And as he's on his way, he finds out he's got the messengers come up and they tell him, oh, he was healed. He said, well, when? It says such and such. He said, oh, damn, that was the same time our king said, you know, that he'd be healed. And, and they all believed, you know, I mean. Where's our faith? So I guess really quick here, we're going to, uh, well, I don't know if the video's going or not. My Chrome is still not responding. I'm having all kinds of technical difficulties, it appears, but I think it's festival technicalties because Satan hates these days, hates what I'm saying. Hates what you're hearing if you're listening to me, all 21 of you that's uh, listening. Though I've been having more subscribers, I never ask for subscribers, I never ask for thumbs up, I never ask for these kind of things because they got to come from you, you know, they can't come from me. Man, why is my internet being so scrutiated? <laughs> I must be loved, okay? If your ass is getting kicked in these last days, you're loved. And if you're skating, skate free, you know, you got no problem, no obstacles. Well, you know, I'm going to shut this down before it closes off and I lose everything. I love y'all. Uh, shalom. And I'll try to bring out some more on what I was trying to bring out here uh, tomorrow, maybe. <laughs> Until then, enjoy this feast or enjoy the love that comes through these laws. I love y'all and Shabbat Shalom.